Hello everybody, welcome back to Tully Talks and today we're going to be talking Wonder Woman 84 again and Wonder Woman in a general sense but this is the first I was speaking about I'm having my first official guest star here and um, before we get into her introduction I've been hoping that I've been able to earn you subscription and if I have, please like that, um, well, like the video, hit that red subscribe button down below, hit all on the notifications, comment, share, uh, all that great YouTube stuff. But I'm going to introduce you to this young lady right here and let her introduce herself and tell you a little bit about herself. Hi, everyone. My name is Chrissy. Welcome. Welcome to Tully Talks. And today what I'm going to be doing on this little episode is I'm going to be telling you a little bit about my Wonder Woman story. Now my story starts when I was a child growing up in the 80s and kind of don't want to mention my age, haha, but <laughs> I was little, but I was uh, like like old enough to be into Wonder Woman because she started out in the 70s and then it went into the 80s so yeah so that's basically the start of it and <laughs> she's my hero and I've been a big fan of her big fan of hers ever since I was a very little kid so uh, I wanted to start off with that and <laughs> so are you talking about um, your experience with like the Linda Carter series on television well Did that have did, little, did you ever watch that a little bit but more into the 80s with the um, I believe it was the Justice League cartoon? The Justice League cartoon, yes. The Justice was that League cartoon. in the cart early mid 80s? Uh, that was like more towards the 90s. 90s. That was more towards okay. the 90s. The TV series was like back in the 70s, 80s. Right, right. And then when she first came out in the comics, it was, I think, like the 40s. But she didn't really start getting big with the mainstream until like the 70s, 80s. Well, I remember like it being big enough in the 80s. For me to have a pair of underoos. <laughs> so that were so I remember having He-Man underoos and um, Transformer and, underoos. Yeah. So, so you had the the Wonder Woman underoos. Sadly, I probably wore them for too many days in a row. Because <laughs> <laughs> I kids. was so obsessed with her. Right, most kids. I was kids. so obsessed with Wonder Woman and the character. And I want to just show you guys this hat that Tully Talks gave me for Christmas. And I did have a huge Wonder Woman collection in the very early 2000s, like 2000, 2001, 2002, 2003. And sadly, I don't have any of that collection at all. Um, unfortunately, due to some, um, you know, unfortunate circumstances. No, I didn't sell anything on eBay or anything like that. But anyway, I'm starting my collection again, and it's growing. And I want to show you some other things here. So very nice winter hat here for Wonder Woman. I have here. This is the DC Universe Rebirth Wonder Woman. And I really like the cover of this. I like that she's in what I'm going to say is the deep forest, deep jungle. And you could see there that it looks like Steve Trevor. There's right. So look how awesome this is, the cover on this. That does look nice. Do you want me to hold that? Yes, one? please. And this was actually them celebrating her 75th anniversary even. Yes. So yes. that's how long she's been around for 75 years. That's oh, right. That's pretty that's wild. That's true. That's and I like true. how in the forest it looks like a skull. 
See that? Yeah, the detail on that is like very it's nice. like the jungle's getting ready to go and, after it. And this really looks like um, I'm gonna say this really looks like how she looked. I'm not sure if I'm gonna say the most recent movie, the the Wonder Woman '84, maybe a little bit more of the. What do you think? No, not maybe the first movie. Maybe it may be a little bit of the first I'm, movie there, second I'm trying movie. I'm trying to think. What, what do you guys think? What do you guys think? Do you think this looks like the classic current. Wonder Woman or the more current? current? I, I mean, what do you guys think about this cover? Let us know. Comment down yeah, below. Yeah, comment down, comment down below what your favorite Wonder Woman story has been. Uh, any this says DC Universe 51. It says $3.99. You paid $6 at the comic book store in Middletown, so New Wonder York. So Wonder Woman 51. And then, before I get into the real gem of gems here, because this is a real, real su nice, cute surprise. <laughs> I'm saying cute surprise. Well, it was a cute this surprise is, for you. This is a real gem coming up. You weren't expecting but, to buy that one. Guys, can you believe that I got this at the Dollar Tree? And it's authentic. It's it is not a DC like Universe fake um, or imitation. License. It's real, you know, like he said. And one dollar at the Dollar Tree, and so you always cannot, keep your eyes out for these little things at the that Dollar you can come Tree. across. Because believe it or not, they have not just Wonder Woman, but I've seen like other characters and stuff, and fit little figures and everything. And again, it's it's real. It's not like fake or anything like yeah, that. Yeah, it's officially licensed merchandise. It just and comes in to the for dollar a dollar. Store. Yeah, you can't you can't go wrong. And this was a real gem um, from there too. It's Crayola art with Edge with Wonder Woman and the Cheetah. Oops, you don't want to peek at this yet. <laughs> um, and there is um, the cheetah and it has 30 pages and then it says eight inch by 10 inch perfect for framing and so, then you could see the pages there so if you're into coloring that type of stuff or collecting or want to you don't have the money for uh say paintings and stuff you can color these pictures and put them up throughout your house. I mean, it's something. You know what I mean? It, you get the, you get to color it, however you want to color it, and you get to put it up. Look at that. Yeah, I wonder if that's what the cover to Wonder Woman number six looked like back in the day. It says ten, like a, like a ten very, cents. But um. And the qual the stock of the quality of the paper is good quality. It's, it feels like a heavy paper for something that you would consider a dollar. Oh, wow, this is a gem, guys, right here. You could even make copies of this too. Right. You could even have this and you know have copies and everything and you know. <clears throat> That's nice. This reminds me of the the Wonder Woman in the 80s that I was talking about. Yeah, that's more of the sure. 80s. Uh, shoot, I just... Linda Carter, Wonder Woman. Uh, right. Oh, wow, this is a gem here. Guys, this is another 10 cent one. So I wonder if these are old covers from yeah, Wonder Woman comics look, back Yeah, because look at the, the um, 40s could, hairstyle, guys. Yeah. You can tell. Look at that. And I was thinking the other day of something with Wonder Woman, how uh, I don't know if I'm the only one that thought this or not, but uh, how she comes from the island of Themyscira, how it sounds like they're trying to say the mascara, like the mascara that you put on your eyes. I wonder if that was like a little dig at uh, calling the island the mascara as a supplemental thing for the mascara that you put on. Okay guys, but, are you ready? Look at this gem right here. Look at this gem. Do you now, guys know what this is? 
Now, for those of you not too current on comic books, the DC Comic Books is putting out a story called Future State. And this is Wonder Woman and Superman number one, Future State. The Superman in this context is Jonathan Kent, the son of Clark and Lois. And he's the current Superman. And this Brazilian lady is the current Wonder Woman. She's a half Brazilian god and half Brazilian Amazon. And uh, this is uh, the reason why they're calling it Future State is because it's years in the future. So I'm currently not sure where Superman Clark Kent is or Diana Lane is, but these are the current Wonder Woman and Superman number one DC Future State book. I thought it looked really good, the cover, and I like the look of the Brazilian Wonder Woman. I do kind of like the look of the Jonathan Kent Superman. And um, I got this for Chrissy here because I know she loves her Wonder Woman. And it's kind of hard to get a number one of a Wonder Woman series um, that can be affordable. Um, the Future State Wonder Woman number one, where I was trying to get it at, had sold out and, or was uh, a few more bucks because that's really flying off the shelves at a high. It's getting there with the price. So I was able to get this for her. It's number one. And I wanted her to have a nice Wonder Woman comic book. So you like it? You like the cover on it? I love it? it. It's great. It's fantastic. And we'll see how this story plays out, I think. Uh, as Diana's trying... Um, not Diana. I'm sure <laughs> she's calling her Diana. Uh, well... I, I think as this mm -hmm. Wonder Woman is trying to figure things out on Earth, uh, Jonathan has to fight a sun, uh, a sun enemy in the sky. And uh, I think they're trying to they figure out how to do that in, in the issue. And she tries to talk to a, a version of good and evil on this farm uh, during the issue too to try to get a grasp of how to handle her new lifestyle and I think that's where the story of that goes Superman fights a sudden person a sudden god and she tries to and comment down below out. guys on what you think of this okay if you follow in future state comment down below let me know how that's been going uh, share any of your stories uh, with your interactions of uh, Wonder Woman co uh, comics movies um, we did wind up watching Wonder Woman 84. We'll do another video. We could do another that. video yeah. of that. We don't want to make this one too long. But, um, yeah, I wanted to, like I said, introduce yes. my first guest star here. Yes, thanks for having me. And thanks for watching, guys. Um, thank you for watching. Before we go, I want to give a big shout out to Chrissy here and her channel. I want you guys to go over and check it out. Her channel is Eternally Grateful Seas. She shows life hacks. She shows uh, clearance hauls. Uh, beauty art. products. Yeah, beauty products. All kinds of things. Uh, there's a lot of on the horizon for her and her channel there. So show her some love. Go check it out. Throw a subscribe her way. And again, thank you for stopping by, guys. Until next time, peace, knuckles.